And to be honest, well, even if I should know better, I was still rather surprised about the different reaction on the terror attack in Russia. Welcome back to Motoganda, and it seems I got infected by the Trump virus. Not in a positive way, actually. More like the breaking promises Trump virus. Of course, as I promised in the last video, uh, that I will try to keep at least one video a week coming up. Well, it's over two weeks now again. I think even close to three weeks. But, well, I have a lot to do at the moment, aside from motovlogging. So I hope that will change, well, maybe in one or two months. But anyway, it's spring, and isn't spring a really nice time of the year? Like, the flowers are coming up. All the animals which go into hibernation come back to life, or what you call it. And the well, well, okay, let's leave out the weather, of course. For that, I should have done this video in better weather conditions. And apparently, it seems the same hibernation theory applies to terrorists as well. Of course. Did you hear about any terrorist attack? Okay, except the one on the German Christmas market, which happened during winter. And I actually wonder why that is. Is it like, nah, jihad, yes, but in winter, no? Or are they on holiday in winter? Or what is it? But that's actually not the topic I wanted to talk about. Or kind of the topic. Of course, did you notice any kind of difference with the terror attack in St. Petersburg compared to... It doesn't even matter compared to what, compared to any other terror attack. In case you didn't, let me quickly tell what I think the differences are, or what differences I noticed. For example, I noticed that there is no buildings enlightened in Russian colors. Even in general, I think that's bullshit anyway, but... Well, if you do it for France, or for Germany, or for wherever else, you should at least do it as well for Russia. And even the excuses or explanation or whatever you want to call it, which they were using to tell the people why they couldn't enlighten the buildings, are so stupid. I mean, let's take Germany and especially Berlin there as an example. What was the explanation given? Well, we would have loved to do that, but unfortunately St. Pe Petersburg isn't a partner city of ours. Which, by the way, is just a lie. <laughs> of course, if you check out on the official government site, it turns out actually it is. The second thing I noticed, no virtual signaling on Facebook, no changed the uh, profile image with the Russian flag or Je suis Sankt Petersburg or whatever you call it in Russian which basically I should know since I had Russian at school but I forgot so thanks to my Russian teacher you didn't teach me a lot apparently or at least it didn't stick and I'm actually wondering why that is I mean, the pattern looks to me pretty much the same, like in Paris or in London or Berlin or wherever. 
but the reaction doesn't look the same. And well, the only explanation I have for that, or the only kind of reasonable thinking about that is, well, obviously the Russians are bad guys, so we don't have to show any solidarity with them. And it's even quite obvious why now you see such things happening in Russia as well. Of course, obviously they bombed now Syria as well and the people there don't like it and, well, kind of fight back. I mean, we see that over and over and over again that such attacks are carried out in countries which are involved in wars, and we don't see such attacks in countries which are not. So, the actual easy thing to do to prevent that would be, well, don't go to war with those countries. Let them be alone. If they want to fight each other, okay, it's their problem. But well, preventing further terror attacks obviously is just the official given reason which you get fed by the mainstream media. And I mean, it should be clear for everyone by now already which are the true reasons obviously Russia don't want to lose its um, military base in Syria. And the US obviously wants to establish one there, so quite obvious. And where is he going? And to be honest, well, even if I should know better, I was still rather surprised about the different reaction on the terror attack in Russia. But well, we will see how that all continues. But unfortunately, I doubt that a lot will change there. I rather think that this will continue and Russia will be pointed out as the bad guy and the evil attacker or aggressor. And the US will continue to be pointed out as the nice and good and democracy bringing guys. And I actually hope I'm wrong with that, but time will show. So that's it already for that video. And this time it, I can actually tell you there will be another video coming up soon, of course. I actually had two topics to discuss and just having one now over here. Thanks. So the other one I uh, will discuss in an evening take, today even, and will get, then get released, I guess, next week. So far, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did so, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it everywhere, since actually my last video didn't get many views, so it would be nice to see that one change again on this video. And obviously, if you have anything to say or any ideas what I else should cover, just leave it down there in the comment box and I will try my best to do so. And if you didn't subscribe yet, isn't it obvious that I ask you to subscribe now and to don't forget to hit that bell button so you get all the notifications whenever a new video comes up. And I see you in the next video.